So we're all sitting there with Casey and Sunshine Band. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, like, How was, was that? It was like a culture clash. It was a culture clash of different bands and artists and genres of music and, That's right. and different, uh, yeah, man, it was cool. So we were all just kind of like a big mashup of artists and we all got on a plane. And, Casey's yeah. kind of a stud. I've seen him around. Yeah, man. He, you know, it's like he's got that swag to him. You know, he just walks around. Right. Dressed just all in black. Just yeah, man. Him. He just, you know, he's got that. So he's, he seems like one of those guys you just want to party with. And, you know, a city like this, it's just like, why not? Right? It's made for it. Yeah, it's been insane. So, so what are your initial thoughts on the road? Dude, I got here. I didn't know anything. So, I, you know, they're giving me tidbits here and there. They're like, yeah, it's, it's a city and you're going to DJ. I'm like, <laughs> you can handle oh, that. I'm like, I, okay, I got that. that. <laughs> but then they didn't tell me the part. There's a llama walking down the street. <laughs> yeah. There's like vanilla yeah. ice serving yes. ice cream. You got, um, Bowling, I just went in this like man-made or whatever, like a giant ball, right. and then I ended up bowling, and then I rolled into the street and I got yelled at. I wasn't supposed to do that part. But yeah, man, it's it's just something that like you don't, you always hear about and you always, you know, always wish you can do, yeah. and then all of a sudden this is like, hey, do whatever you want. It's like, all right. And so you're, you're gonna rock the crowd, right? Yeah, man. What, it's do been, we, what do we got? What's gonna happen? We got, um, I, I did I did a party with Alesso yesterday. That, that was, was awesome. That was insane. Dude. That was crazy. It was like the energy in that place. And people just wanted to go all night. They, yeah. they were like, yeah. I was like, all right guys, let's around. That's, you know, they're like, no, keep going. So. Well, that's a great point. How, how frequently can you feel that? Are you always feeling Oh, good? yeah, yeah, definitely. When you when you DJ, I mean, like you kind of feed off that audience. So if, you know, if they're feeling it back for you and you're going back and forth with them, you can understand where they, Want the music to go, or where they want the night to go, and mm -hmm. you can just see in their faces, they're like, "Yeah, let's just keep going, let's keep partying." So, yeah. Next thing you know, we end up at like six a.m. or <laughs> walking back to our place and like, you know, eating eating fresh fruit from a, I don't know, I found fresh fruit like bananas and oranges somewhere. But um, yeah, well, man, let's check out our boob out. Yeah, that, that, that's been going on a lot here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Man, so, what do you do after like a set where you're up that? Like, how do you calm down? Can you? No, man. We just we were walking down and we, I, I literally we uh we, well this is funny. So last night we went back and crashed, tried to crash. I woke up and I'm like, you know, tossing and turning a little bit. I look at my window. There's horses in my backyard. So last night when we checked in, we didn't see. They put us in this like house and we couldn't see the backyard. It's, we're on a ranch. So there's like horses just eating hay outside my window, and I'm like. All right, this is definitely it doesn't just end on this, you know, strip right here. It's this whole town. So, it's been pretty intense and, you know, these are things that you never can see like Quest Love is just DJ. I know, that was crazy. There's a beach in like the middle of the street. Yeah, yeah, man. Just walking down the street like nothing, you right, know. Right. Oh, so, just Quest Love. Yeah, it's Quest Love. He was walking down the street with his roller bag, his little roller bag by himself, was taking guy? his hair and just like <laughs> just chilling like, just down the street with his little red roller bag. Nothing like fancy, not like Gucci or anything. Just a little you know, yeah. Kmart, whatever, rolling right. bag, Target rolling bag, and yeah, just walk, walking down the street. Just like, like he kind of thought he would. I yeah, mean, man. Like his image. He's, he's down for whatever, so <laughs> Dude, you can't, perfect. you know, you can't hate on that. Uh, what do you say to people that say to, about DJs that it's not, that it's not legitimate, that, that you're just playing your record player? You know what? It, it's, it's, it's not, it's not even about, you know, people have their opinions on what we do, and it's a craft. You know, as much as we do like partying, we do like having a good time, but at the same time, when you leave a party, you go, wow, that was amazing. Like, I had, a, there were songs I didn't get to hear before, and there were, there were songs that um, actually took me back to a place or a time when I, I remembered and I had a good time with people that you don't even know. So you're standing there with strangers, and you're becoming best friends with them because you guys all have a mutual you know, a, you know, understanding for the music and the love for the music. So, you know, if people want to hate on it and say these things here and there, you know, it is what it is, but we're out to have a good time. And I think um, at the end of the day, the people and the crowds that come to see it, they're looking for the same thing. So, awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> no scam artists. Fantastic. No scam artists. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, man. What are you, what are you up to? What are you doing?